Hey folks, today we're going to see if ChatGPT can create an iOS instrument app. Let's get started! So the idea is to create a simple instrument app with a reverb effect that you can play with an on-screen keyboard. Now doing this without AI is easier said than done, so I'll be interested to see how far we actually get today. I've made several tutorials on making instrument apps using AudioKit and AV Audio Unit Sampler. I'll link to those in the description. Those are probably going to be a better starting point for you to create your own instrument app, but let's just see if ChatGPT can do our homework for us. First I'll create an Xcode project called Instrument AI and I'll add an instrument made in GarageBand using AU Sampler. This is a necessary step because ChatGPT doesn't generate files, just text. After a few semi-successful attempts, I started a chat with Write a Swift UI script with an AV Audio Unit Sampler instrument called Instrument and AV Audio Unit Reverb effect called Reverb with Wet-Dry Mix Control. The instrument should be played by a multi-touch piano layout. It's pretty remarkable to see the code starting to generate on the screen, and if you regenerate an answer, oftentimes you'll get an answer that's totally different. For example, sometimes it'll have error handlings and other times it won't. Sometimes the answer will use audio kit and other times it might just infer that you're trying to create a new audio unit. This time the chat didn't include AV Audio Engine to play the instrument, so I just followed up with the prompt to add AV Audio Engine to the previous example. This time it was generated with the engine attaching to the instrument and reverb nodes and connecting them to the engine's output. I fixed a couple of small errors by clicking the stop sign in Xcode, but then when running the app it crashes on launch. This is because we need to load the instrument after it's been attached to the engine. So we'll just move that code block further down and when we run the application again, this is what we get. Now we have an app that is loading an instrument with reverb and playing different notes with button presses. We can ask ChatGPT to expand on the example and sometimes you'll hit an error where things just hang. You can either reload the page or ask it to finish writing the method it stopped on. Alright, so here we go. Now we're making the keys look a little bit bigger and adding a slider for our reverb. And there we have it, an instrument app without us writing a single line of code. I wanted to take it further, but I hit the request cap, and I think I have a pretty good idea now of what ChatGPT is capable of in its current form. It is no doubt very impressive, and the technology is still quite young, so I think things will only improve over time. So on the plus side, it did generate a script ultimately for what I wanted it to make, and the responses were dynamic, not like it was just some boilerplate copy and paste stuff that it found somewhere else on the internet. The downsides were that it wasn't always up to date on the latest coding APIs. There are changes to Swift every year and the current model is already a bit dated where it hits deprecated methods. I've also used it to try and generate AudioKit code, but all the answers come from AudioKit 4, whereas AudioKit 5 has already been out for over a year now, and it didn't seem to be able to generate workarounds for some of the coding problems that we've tried to work around now with Swift UI. For example, multi-touch where you are sliding across keys like a keyboard in Swift UI you need to use a UI view representable for that. I tried every prompt I could think of to try and guide it into the right direction, and it just couldn't figure it out. So somewhere in there, there's a skill ceiling that it just won't go beyond. I don't know, maybe it just has to do with the way that programming is, where it's not just a fixed science. With software development, you have to find the edges, and then once you find those edges, you have to find workarounds to get around those edges. Would I use this for a music app? No, not yet. I think people could still make way better examples than this using the resources online and looking at code samples. So overall, I think I would say it is better than I expected, but not as good as I'd like for it to be, at least not in its current state. Now that could all change with new advancements, but for now, I'm just going to keep on copying and pasting code from Stack Overflow. And I'm not even kidding. And that's it. As you can see, ChatGPT is a very powerful tool, but it's probably not going to be taking over any audio developer jobs anytime soon. Or at least not until next week whenever they roll out, like, the new version. Because AI is getting smarter, and I ain't getting smarter. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm on my way to 15,000 subscribers. 15,000! A lot of those subscribers are because I used to have a Halloween video that went viral, but I took it off my channel, so... What up, Halloween people? If you'd like to see a video where I make an instrument using AV Audio Unit Sampler, I'll put that video up on the screen now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. AI, dude. I don't know, man. AI.